Uh, welcome to Defense and Aerospace Report. Uh, my name is Vettler Dragsen. I work for Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace. Uh, we're here at AUSA showcasing our integrated combat solution and how it ties into our remote weapon stations. And most importantly, how we utilize the manned, unmanned teaming aspect of putting weapon stations on robotic combat vehicles. Uh, so now we're uh, sitting inside one of the operator stations on board the Utah vehicle, which is what we call this vehicle. Uh, this is kind of the command hub or control center for the different remote weapon stations that we have placed around here. So from this station right here, we are able to control three different weapon stations on three different platforms. So to do that, we need to build the situational awareness. So you can see here we have our Utah vehicle placed back in the terrain. We have two other vehicles placed further up uh, on each side of the convention center. You can also see we have the data mapped out in 3D. So you can see we have one vehicle down here and then we have two vehicles placed on each side of the convention center. Uh, moving on over to the weapon screen here, this is our main control interface for the weapons. So each operator has a control grip. So from the control grip, is he able to choose which weapon station he wants to control? So I can start by controlling the local sensors. So that will be the RWS on the top of this platform. And what's uh, noticeable is that we share the information from the graphical map and augment that reality onto the actual gunner site. Making sure that if I start controlling a platform that's in another physical location that I'm actually sitting there operating, I can make sure that I am not pointing towards any uh, blue force. You can also see the map orientates as well, so I can suddenly orientate myself that the enemies will be in this position over here, and I have my friendlies on the back. And that changes depending on which weapon station I'm controlling. So right now I start control of the robotic combat vehicle. Uh, so I take control of that station. I can, in a short amount of time, get my situational awareness for where the targets are and what are my danger areas that I actually need to be focusing on. In the same ways, as soon as I, from any given weapon station, pull my trigger, uh, the, the system will alert me that something has happened within the network, that the information also gets shared. And if I go to another weapon station, I'm able to slew towards that engagement. I also get the imagery from the moment the other vehicle actually pulled the trigger. And that goes the same for target sharing. Um, and other events that might happen within the vehicle network. Now after that we can take the specific data that uh, seems applicable and we can share that up the command chain. So further up into a battle management system, further up into a command and control system, uh, and also share data over to uh, aviation support uh, for uh, close air support, utilizing nine line operations and so forth.